Hello everyone and welcome to the quarterfinals of the Adrenaline XL Euro 2020 tournament we're doing with the trading cards. Obviously there isn't a tournament this year anymore because it's been moved back due to the coronavirus. So hopefully you are all staying inside, staying safe and um, doing the right thing essentially. But yeah, while you are staying inside we've got this awesome Euro 2020 Adrenaline XL edition trading card tournament. And uh, so far... These are the teams left. <laughs> we're in the quarterfinals now, so we're in the business end of this tournament now. Uh, it's now Switzerland versus Russia, Turkey versus Ukraine, Croatia versus Belgium, and France versus the Netherlands. Um, it's it's quite an open tournament actually, because I mean, no one expected Ukraine to get here, nor Turkey, Switzerland, Russia. We're going to get at least two big upsets in the quarterfinals. So it's either going to be Croatia, Belgium, France or Netherlands going out. Two of those teams will be heading out at this stage, leaving Ukraine with a great chance to lift some silverware. The, their first ever Euro tournament, I believe. Yeah, yeah, they don't have any wins at all. None of these teams, in fact, have wins. So before we get into these packs, make sure you absolutely smash the like button, subscribe to the channel as well, and turn the notification bell while you're there. Uh, but you've got five seconds to hit that like button to give whatever team you're supporting good luck. I know England are out, which is a big, big shame. Obviously, lost out to France in the round of 16. Uh, but yeah, make sure to comment down below who you're rooting for and smash the like button to give them good luck. You've got two more seconds. One, two. Okay. So, we're going to be six packs again. In the semi-finals, we're opening four, and the same with the final, we'll be opening four as well, if that makes sense. Because obviously there's less teams uh, to find. But anyway, so we've got Larice, De Bruyne, and Schick on the front of this pack. Eight cards per pack in the UK and the Ireland edition. Uh, £1.70 per pack in the United Kingdom. Uh, they're still available in store, so if you do fancy picking some up or ordering some online, um, then do feel free to do that because, I mean, it's something to do while we're stuck inside, isn't it? To collect a trading card or stick a collection. Uh, there's the odds, as you can see. Hopefully we can get something awesome in this pack. So, let's get straight into it. Who's going to get off to a flyer in the quarterfinals? So we've got a club badge here of the Czech Republic, which obviously can't be used. Turkey lineup that can't be used, unfortunately, for Turkey. Uh, Denmark are out, so Martin Braithwaite... Uh, does not score them any goals. Uh, Turkey do take the lead though. It tech tem uh, tech Demir there, um, the Turkish midfielder for obviously Turkey. Uh, so they take an early lead against Ukraine. Uh, so Ukraines will not be happy with that. Um, we've got Austria magic moment there. Scottish player, Austrian player, they're out, aren't they? Yeah, uh, Gregorich and another Denmark player, then Christensen. So if Denmark's still in this tournament at this stage, they'd be off to a flyer. Uh, but yeah, that's the only goal which stands at the moment. One goal in the opening 10 minutes, so to speak, through Tech Demir for Turkey. We've got a Welsh player here in Aaron Ramsey, but Wales are long gone in this tournament. Uh, we've got a German player here, and I believe Germany are out. Yeah, Germany got knocked out by Belgium last round um, on a points-based decision. <laughs> uh, Manuel Neuer, goal stopper, unfortunately not um, being enough uh, for Germany. Got another Scottish player there. Swedish, uh, they're out as well, yeah, Sebastian Larsson, Switzerland's Zakaria, and they get, a, they get a goal. Switzerland lead against Russia now, Zakaria with the goal, uh, fantastic young midfielder. Is he young? I don't know, but he's a cracking midfielder nevertheless, very all-round. Uh, Zakaria there for Switzerland, so they're 1-0 up against Russia, but Russia equalised pretty much straight away. Miran Chuk with the goal. Uh, so it's midfielders getting the goals today in this round. We've got a Spanish midfielder there, Thiago. Um, Spain are out of this tournament. And Pogba takes the lead for France. Um, performs on the big stage again uh, for the French, uh, for the world champions, uh, France, of course. Um, he takes the lead for France against the Netherlands. So could France win by one goal again, or will the Netherlands fight back, unlike England, in the last round? But there we go. There's, there's goals in all the games now, apart from Croatia versus Belgium, but Switzerland and Russia is a goal apiece at the moment. One all in that fixture. Got another Danish player here in Thomas Delaney. There we go, what a player. Uh, France double their advantage, it's Antoine Griezmann with the goal. It's not looking good for the Netherlands at the moment, is it? But there we go, Antoine Griezmann with the goal. So it's 2-0 to France in that fixture. And then we've got another forward here, it's another Swedish player, it's Isaac. Um, he cannot be used essentially. Two of mine and can't be used for Finland because Finland are out as well. Uh, Skov, another Danish player. What is it with the Danish players today? We've got uh, Alan Brown from the uh, Republic of Ireland. He can't be used. Jorginho can't be used for Italy. And nor can 
Euronen uh, for Finland. So a couple of Finnish players in there, a couple of Danish players again. None of them can be used. So it's still goalless in the game between Croatia versus Belgium as we enter the second half. Let us know how your well, what, what your predictions are in the comment section going into the second half. Obviously, the half-time scores on the doors. It's Switzerland 1, Russia 1, Turkey 1, Ukraine 0, Croatia 0, Belgium 0, and France 2, the Netherlands 0. So it looks like France will be heading into the semi-finals. Uh, Robert Lewandowski, unfortunately, Poland are out. Um... But he's obviously going to be going for the golden boot. Uh, there he is, the Polish centre forward. Oh, it's a shame Marcus Rashford didn't turn up in the last round. There he is, the fans' favourite for England. And, oh, it's another English player! But it's a master, which is awesome. Harry Kane. Look at that. Wow, what a card. Harry Kane master card um, for the Mighty Free Lions. So they would have got two goals in a pack then. That would have been crucial. But England are unfortunately out. Likewise, a Germany, Josh Kimmich there. Um, and then we have Liam Palmer of Scotland, and what? <laughs> Whoa, okay, that is cray cray. Um, yeah, Panini, explain yourself. What the hell? What a weird pack that is. Okay, um, the Liam Palmer pack, everyone, is uh, now in all good stores. In a serious note, uh, what the hell is going on here? Danny Rose, another English player at the back there, but that is, <laughs> that is crazy. So we got... One German player, two in no, three English players, three Scottish players, all Liam Palmer, and then just Lewandowski chucked on the pile as well. Um, that is weird. That is, <laughs> that is a weird pack, three of the same card. Oh, can't wait to show Panini that clip. I'm sure they're watching this video, but that is another goalless pack. Um, no, no good for this tournament, really, is it? Uh, so Simon Kjar with the goal for Denmark, but another Danish player. They're not in the tournament anymore. Uh, likewise of Germany, Nabry, Werner and Brandt. Uh, the attacking trio there. Bulgaria team line up there. More team photo, should I say. Another Swedish player, Forsberg. Longley makes it free. So it looks the Netherlands are screwed, basically. It looks like France will be heading in to the semi-finals of this tournament. And who is this again? What are you doing in my... Who is Liam Park? What does he do? Why is he not... Leave me alone! What are you doing? Um... Okay, Kufal for Czech Republic and Belgium take the lead. It's a late goal and it's Batshuayi, the the king of late crucial goals, and he puts Belgium one 0 up against Croatia. So as it stands, it will be Belgium versus France in the semi-finals. Wow, but what is, Liam Palmer? We've got him four times in two packs. Here we go, entering the last pack. Who is going to win the respective games? Make sure to comment down below. This is very exciting. Still one apiece between Switzerland and Russia. Um, oh, it's the Turkey badge. That's not going to do them any good, although they are still winning in their fixture. The Swedish lineup there. Another Swedish player, Lindelof, defensive rock. Uh, Bednarek for Poland. Wales, magic moment. Brian Jack, uh, Skillsy, and a German player. So that is all the goals. There's all the goals in the tournament. So now we need to find that winner between Switzerland and Russia. So the final scores were Switzerland 1, Russia 1, which will be based, uh, decided on a points based decision on their total score, which is equal, which is absolutely nuts. So because Switzerland and Russia both finished on the same score, Miranchuk and Zakaria, the way I've decided this, it is quite harsh, but... Miran Chuck, Russia will be going through because uh, they they only lose on the defensive stats. They win on both attack and control. Uh, but because Sakara's defensive stat is quite higher, it is you know that was, that's what brings it up to two hundred and ten. But overall, Miran Chuck is the more all round player and ultimately um, scores more on attack, which is ultimately how you get your goals. And Russia are through, so I'm sorry to Switzerland fans out there. It's it's a horrible way to go out the tournament. We've not had this on the channel or in this tournament before, so I'm so I'm so sorry to Switzerland, but you, my friends, are out of the tournament. Let's, let's put their card on the pile there. It's a big shame. It really is a big shame for the Swiss. Uh, but there we go. Switzerland are out, so it will be Russia versus Turkey because Turkey finished. Uh, they're going to finish one 0 to Turkey. An early goal from Tek Demir. No goals for Ukraine, so the Ukrainians are out of the tournament. Unfortunately for them. Uh, Croatia versus Belgium ended 1-0 to Belgium, so Croatia 
Obviously, the Euro World Cup finalists uh, for 2018 uh, are out of the Euro 2020 Adrenal XL Edition tournament. Uh, Batshuayi with the only goal for Belgium, putting them in to the semi-finals. Who will be playing? France, who absolutely stormed their game against the Netherlands, winning 3-0 goals from Pogba, Longley and Antoine Griezmann. The Netherlands are out, so... It's a big, big shame for the Netherlands, of course, one of the favourites for this tournament. But yeah, th this is how the semi-finals will line up. So it will be Turkey versus Russia and France versus Belgium. So it's all up. It's all to play for, really. There's going to be an upset here. Belgium and France. Whoever goes out in that game will be well, it'll be an upset. And it's between Turkey and Russia to go to the final, which is mental. Who would have thought that? But that's the way of the road in these tournaments. It. <laughs> you can get some surprises on the way, but there we go. It will be Turkey versus Russia and France versus Belgium in the semi-finals. Who's excited? Make sure to comment down below that you're excited. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell um, so you can get notified when the semi-final video goes live. And thank you very much for watching this video. It really does mean a lot. I hope you're all staying safe inside. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.